Welcome back to History Class with Dr. W and our continuing discussion of 1968. We've arrived at our final topic of the course, the music of 1968. And in the previous lecture, I talked about the musical legacy of the previous year, 1967. In this lecture, we'll move on and take a broad look at some of the biggest hits and albums released in 1968. Just as the calendar in 1968 was dotted with memorable and significant events, the musical calendar was also filled with note noteworthy moments as well. On January 13, 1968, Johnny Cash performed his famous concert at Folsom Prison in California, which became one of the biggest country albums of that era. On January 21st, Simon and Garfunkel released their first of two best-selling albums in 1968, the Graduate Original Soundtrack. On April 3rd, they released the second of the two albums, Bookends. On April 5th, James Brown appeared on national television following the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. the previous day. The concert held in Boston Garden helped to keep the city peaceful after a night of rioting the night before. On April 29th, the rock musical Hair opened on Broadway at the Biltmore Theater. On September 7th, Led Zeppelin performed live for the first time. One of the greatest bands of all time they had formed from the core members of a band called the Yardbirds, which disbanded two months earlier. On November 22nd, the Beatles' White Album was released. On November 26th, Eric Clapton's band, Cream, performed together for the last time. And on December 3rd, NBC aired Elvis Presley's 1968 comeback special, an episode well documented in the recent Elvis movie. These are just some of the noteworthy events in the realm of rock music in 1968. Let's take a quick look at some of the most prominent albums released in 1968. The Beatles, better known as the White Album by The Beatles. Beggar's Banquet from The Rolling Stones. Bookends from Simon and Garfunkel. Cheap Thrills from Big Brother and the Holding Company. Crown of Creation by Jefferson Airplane. Dusty in Memphis by Dusty Springfield. Electric Ladyland from the Jimi Hendrix Experience. At Folsom Prison from Johnny Cash. God Bless Tiny Tim from Tiny Tim. The Kinks are the Village Green Preservation Society from the Kinks. Lady Soul from Aretha Franklin. Magic Bus, the Who on Tour from the Who. Music from the Big Pink by the band. Waiting for the Sun by the Doors. And Wheels of Fire from Cream. For those who are already fans of the music of the 60s, many of these songs are well known and familiar. But if by some chance you haven't heard some of these songs, I encourage you to go out and listen to them to get a real sense of what the music of 1968 was like. But here are some of the most prominent and best remembered singles released during that year. Born to be Wild from Steppenwolf. Chain of Fools from Aretha Franklin. Dance to the Music from Sly and the Family Stone. Hello Goodbye from the Beatles. Hello I Love You from the Doors. Hey Jude and Revolution from the Beatles. Jumpin' Jack Flash from the Rolling Stones. Lady Madonna from the Beatles. Love Child from Diana Ross and the Supremes. Moni Moni from Tommy James and the Shondells. Mrs. Robinson from Simon and Garfunkel. I've already mentioned Revolution from the Beatles. Sitting on the Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding. Sunshine of Your Love from Cream. The Weight from the Band. Peace of My Heart from Big Brother and the Holding Company. White Room from Cream. All Along the Watchtower from Jimi Hendrix. Anagata da Vida from Iron Butterfly. And Magic Bus from The Who. And there are many, many other great songs that could be mentioned here. And I'll be talking about a few of them as we go through these final lectures. 
I should also mention a few other prominent releases of that year. It was a big year in musicals, uh, both in theaters and on Broadway, and a number of those released soundtracks that were among the hit records of that year. And these included Hair, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Funny Girl, The Jungle Book, Oliver, and Yellow Submarine, among many others. In the next lecture, we'll examine some of these events and songs in more detail. Thank you.